So let's talk about domain name hacking. I like talking about hacking. Hacking in its simplest sense just means trying to figure out stuff. Okay? Cracking is actually when you hack something and you destroy it. Hacking could be as simple as, oh, I dropped my cell phone. I found that the battery came off the back. What's that little thing there? I can take my Phillips screwdriver and take that thing out. Oh, I didn't know there's a little chip on there. So hacking is just a curiosity about how things work. Like when I was six years old, I loved it when the toaster didn't work anymore because I go to the barn with a Phillips screwdriver and take it all apart and figure out stuff, right? That's hacking. So I want to talk about hacking in the context of domain names because there's been some very splendid examples. And when you buy a domain name, the identification of you as the owner, you'll be surprised, is simply your email, right? So if you were to buy a domain name and make the purchase, they would send the information to the email that you signed up with. So if I was able to spoof that email, and you know what spoofing is, right? When you fake an email address, I could theoretically contact the company that you had registered your, your domain name with, and you could look that up and say, oh, by the way, I've recently decided to move to a different hosting service. Uh, could you please uh, change my IP address so that I can log in with different information and put up a new index page. And they'll say, sure, no problem. They send the information back to me, the bad guy. And now that I know that, I can then put up a new index page. And that's how you hack a domain name. So let me give you an analogy. This would be like you walking home at the end of the day, you put your key in the front door, and it doesn't work. And you look in the window, and there's a family there from Argentina. And you say, what are you doing in my house? And they say, get off the front lawn in Spanish. Get off the front lawn. And you go, this is my house. So you call 911, right? The cops come. You know the first thing the cops do? They talk to the people in the house, not you. You go, this is my house. They go, yeah, but they're inside the house. So the cops go interview the people inside the house. They tell you to get off the property and talk out by the cruiser. Then you're getting all mad and excited. Not like this ever happened before, but what I'm getting at is the first thing the cops will do is say is leave, get a hotel for the night, contact a lawyer. So for the meantime, you have lost the house. That is the same way that people steal domain names out from other people. You have to prove to the domain registrar that you are the real contact and the real owner. So what a lot of domain registrants do now is ask for secondary password information. It's very important that you keep that because it's not something you check all the time. You might check your domain name information once every two or three years when you renew it. And if people lose that, then it's difficult to prevent themselves from this type of situation happening, especially in corporate circumstances where the people at the top aren't necessarily responsible for that. It could be some tech support person like Mike uh, who's actually got the information for the IP address for Seneca, and if Mike leaves and goes to Centennial or Sheridan or so on, then he's got that information with him. That's also a circumstance here that happens as well. Some perfect examples of uh, domain name hacking, when Arab satellite news channel Al Jazeera was hacked during the time of the Gulf War. And somebody put up a big sign with the U.S. flag on it. Um, here's an example of a hack that took place at uh, Centennial College and U of T. I want to show you how the situation took place because once you understand that, you can figure out how to avoid that. Stamps.com, that's not stamps.com, right? Just keep on there. This is stamps.com. So you look at this one, you say, well, what is that? I mean, they didn't say stamps suck.com. They didn't say stamps are bad.com. There's no protest. It's just a different kind of page. And you say to yourself, well, what's going on there? Okay, well, it looks like there's a phone number to call and some other email address to click on. So you click on that to find out. You say, well, what was the whole purpose of that domain name hack? What was the purpose? Anybody have any ideas of why they did that? Emails. Pardon? To get emails from people. Okay, to get emails from people, right? You know that when people have websites, there's ways of making money that are not just selling product but getting click-throughs, right? And charging people for click-throughs on a website. So here's an example of a scenario. Let's say you have a website that's selling clothing, and you've got a website that's selling shoes. And the way that you're making money is a whole bunch of people are going to your website and then clicking on shoes, and they go to him. So you make money because he pays you for the click-throughs. 
So I'm the bad guy, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to you and I'm going to say, how would you like to make some more money by having him have to pay you on the click-throughs? So I create a situation, a diversion like this, that for a short period of time, maybe four or five hours, on a popular site like this one, tens of thousands of people start clicking to him to get to that link, right? And what I do is I make money because in advance I say to him, I can create a short-term situation where I can drive amazing amounts of traffic to your website. If I do that, will you pay me 10%? You go, fine, that's a no-brainer. So I do, right? And this lasts for maybe 10 hours, 20 hours, depending on how sharp the other company is to switch, right? And in that short period of time, we might make tens, tens of thousands, 50,000 bucks. He's got to pay up because he's got a contract with you. Cool, eh? So now that you understand that there's all kinds of sneaky ways to make money based on hacking domains. It's not just simply, you know, replace the index page and put something else up there. And that's a, a very well-known example. 